today we're gonna do a blush review. Just um all the blushes we have and just review on it. So, so what do you have? So the blushes I'm gonna be reviewing is first the blush full cream stick by NYC and this is in Big Apple Blush and this is the Ame Powder Blush and it is in Peach and this is the CoverGirl Cheekers in... I'm not sure <laughs> but it's kind of like a light pink color so. Okay, mine, um, I have two cream sticks this is Mark and it's in Cherry Pomade this one is my Clinique one and it was like one of the bonus specials. The color is Glow Blush and it's like really shimmery brown, like very neutral. So that's a good one. And then I have two, two more. One Plum Blush, it's really pretty, and one Mineral Blush. This one is in Berry Rimmel and this one's Wet n Wild um, Ultimate Minerals in Pinched Pink. So yeah. Okay, so this cream stick I just bought today from Walmart <laughs> and it was three dollars. So it's a pretty good deal. I have it on my cheeks right now and Go it, closer. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's it's really sheer and it's like it looks very natural. Yeah. So it looks I, really good. I put on like maybe three swipes of these, so that's pretty good. Um I really like it. It's my first day using it so I guess I will update on that later. But um, I've been using the powder brush, but um, I guess you can use this brush. But um, it looks like this, and I've used it for a long time, and it still hasn't worn out. Um, it's pretty good. So, and then this is also a powder brush, powder blush, sorry, mm -hmm. with a brush, but I don't use a brush. So. It looks like that, Very and pink. it's not as, it. it's not like you can see it that well, but it's very cute and compact, <laughs> so. Good for traveling. Yeah, and if you want, like, not that much of a blush, but. Okay, so this one, I um, saw in a magazine that Kayla showed me, a catalog, and like, I don't know, I was just attracted to it, because it's like the girliest color, like, so bright. And it works, it's pretty good. The only thing is you have to use a lot of swipes for if you really want it. And then you have to blend it in so it's nice. Like, you can barely see that. Um, but it's a really pretty color. It's kind of hard to um, um, match with. Like, you have to wear really neutral shades and then just brighten the blush. This one is really good. Like, I use this for all my formal occasions because you want, like, um, different tones, I guess. And this one works really, really well. So I love that very neutral but still you can see it and it makes you look very um, dainty I guess. Then this one is my all time favorite blush because you, um, since I'm kind of fair skinned you don't want like bright pink blushes all the time because it's going to look like sunburn or you know if you have too much. So this one is very easy to use, um, Very, it's kind of darker I guess, it's I don't know, it's plum so you know and it looks, it just, it looks so nice and captivating. And then um, this one, this one's okay. It's um, loose powder, so it's kind of difficult the case to use the first time. Um, I got too much to come out, but it's it's a pretty color. It's very very vibrant. So if you take one swipe, it's like it's solid. It's gonna be solid pink. It's really um, you know dramatic. So if that's what you're looking for, this is a good one, and it was very reasonable. This one I think was probably five dollars at Ulta, and this one was about six dollars. The Mark one from the Mark catalog. So they're all very reasonable. I think all of our blushes are, you know, but they're very worth it. So go try them. Bye.